Well, as the name implies, plain air, I think it's French or just being out in plain air. It's very challenging in the sense that, uh, I don't know if you can see the bugs on my face, but bugs and wind and rain and the sun changes. But for me, those challenges are what make the art, having to be spontaneous. And it also allows me to sort of be very quick and free and not to try to worry about being precise and detail oriented, but to capture sort of the expression of the environment as opposed to the details. The challenges with plain air painting involve so much of the things you cannot control. You're out in an environment where so much is happening, wind and sun and bugs and people. And so for me, those challenges are actually what make plain air so fun because it forces me to have to change what my initial plan was. And when that happens, uh, I think the creativity takes over and it, I, I get some very unexpected results which turn out to be the best work. I paint in both acrylic and oil paint. I use them differently though. With acrylic, I usually lay the first layers of paint and uh, I put oil paint on top of it. Oil paint has this incredible creamy consistency like peanut butter. And uh, thinking about it right now, uh, I actually paint as if I was making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I use a knife, I put on the paint very thick. I want the texture of the paint to be as important as the color and the direction of the paint. So the oil paint for me, it's, uh, it, it's, it, it, it's viscosity is a part of the pleasure of it. To me, studio painting is like when you're trying to dance to music that's in your head and plain air painting and being in the environment is like going to a concert. Just the amplification of the sound and the influences and the energy makes all the difference for me and which is why I love the plain air paint even though it's a much greater challenge than it would be if I could be inside. I like painting in all the seasons but I have a love-hate relationship with winter. I hate winter. I hate the cold. If I could just be in warm weather all the time, I personally would like it the most physically, but I think winter is so beautiful. Uh, the sun is low in the sky, the shadows are always so long, the shadows have this beautiful blue and purple glow, the, the look of the trees bare on the mountains where you can see all the formations of the rocks underneath. To me, it's the most beautiful of the seasons. What I hope is communicated through my art is twofold. One is the subject of the art itself, which is this incredibly lush and beautiful environment. This, it's incredibly unique to see a space where the mountains are just so filled with green and lushness and then the valleys to be so bucolic. I'm doing a lot of painting, but I also started uh, a postcard project and I'm calling it the Blaze Postcard Project. Blaze as in trail blaze and the blaze that's on the tree because both I'm doing a lot of hiking and exploring, but also because I want these paintings to be on fire like blaze. And these postcards are little mementos, sort of seal little memories I've had throughout each day at the park. I'm doing one postcard for every day of the residency. Being here in Shenandoah, for three weeks, it's given me a great opportunity to experiment with new styles and new colors. And it's really allowed me to take the paintings into a different direction that I would not have it, had the guts to try before. And so that's really exciting. In a way, I'm learning how to paint in a new way. I've been coming to Shenandoah for over a decade and I have painted several locations, most notably Goonie Manor Overlook, probably about 25 times, all different times of day and season. But I have never had the opportunity to be here nonstop for three weeks straight. For me, has made all the difference. And I can see that the residency has allowed me to experiment a lot more. And um, just the joy of seeing this in the middle of the summer, in the middle of the season, to see the lush green environment. It's, uh, I, I think it's, it's something that I won't forget. I want to give my sincere gratitude to the Shenandoah National Park Trust, who has sponsored this residency. It's been a real gift, and I want to thank you very much.
Hi, I'm Jessica Cochalone, and I am the Executive Director of the Shenandoah National Park Trust, and we are proud to be the philanthropic partner of the Shenandoah National Park. Our mission is to invest philanthropic dollars in initiatives and programs that ensure Shenandoah remains the crown jewel of the national park system, an economic driver for the region, and a national treasure for all to enjoy today and tomorrow. If you are interested in learning more about Shenandoah National Park Trust and supporting this program, please visit us online at snptrust.org.